liberal viewer present. So despite having made dozens and dozens of videos documenting ideological bias on Fox News, sometimes it's the simple mistakes that I find more interesting than the pre-planned spin, as it was today when I noticed a mistake Jane Skinner made, presumably misreading the teleprompter when she reported the story you can see here. China is ramping up security ahead of the 20th anniversary of the violent crackdown on Tiananmen Square protesters in 1989. Foreign journalists were barred from the plaza today. Hundreds of uniformed and plainclothes police have been spread out to guard the area. The pro-democracy protests are identified, of course, with this image on your screen, a lone gunman blocking that column of Chinese tanks. Huh, now... I've never heard that heroic passive resistor from the 1989 Tiananmen Square protest in China described as a lone gunman before, so I can only assume Jane Skinner misread a teleprompter that actually described a lone man, but given all the discussion on Fox News of Obama's use and occasional failures with his teleprompters, as I described in the video titled Obama Teleprompter Obsession that you can see at tinyurl.com slash obamaprompt, I have to ask. Shouldn't Fox News anchors be more forgiving of the simple mistakes of others given their own teleprompter mishaps like this one? And having read Sigmund Freud's book, The Psychopathology of Everyday Life, I could speculate myself, but I'd rather just know what you think. Is there some deeper meaning to a Fox News anchor turning an iconic hero of passive resistance into the lone gunman of Tiananmen Square? I, YouTube, you decide.